Healthcare Money Campfire Stories by Eric Bricker, M.D. Chapter 9. Spontaneous Applause. Compass Professional Health Services was still in its very early days. We had about a dozen employer clients. The largest client was a housing title company with about 500 employees, but the other companies were less than 100 employees. Our own company had five employees total. As the chief medical officer, I was still responsible for sales, marketing, new client implementation, and ongoing account management. All five of us were wearing multiple hats, and I certainly was getting a lot of help. I had just sold a new customer, our second largest one. It was a 300-employee water filtration system maker headquartered in Marshall, Texas, a small town in East Texas near the Louisiana border. For new clients, I would explain the Compass Personal Healthcare Concierge service to the employees in person at their employee benefits open enrollment meetings. Open enrollment is typically in the fall when employees hear about changes to their health insurance, dental insurance, and any other benefits they may receive from their employer. Small and mid-sized companies typically have in-person open enrollment meetings where their HR department and the various insurance company representatives make presentations on how their coverage works. For example, your deductible is X, your co-pays are Y. These open enrollment meetings are often organized by the company's employee benefits broker, sometimes referred to as an insurance broker or benefits consultant. Most companies have them. They work with the HR department to shop insurance companies to provide the benefits and put them all together in a package. Typically, every year employees must sign up again for their benefits and make any changes such as adding a spouse or children to the coverage. The water filter company needed to have a 5.30 p.m. open enrollment meeting for their field sales staff of about 30 employees. The salespeople had flown in from all over the country to attend sales meetings at headquarters. The plan was to have an open enrollment meeting for them at the end of the day and then take them out for a nice steak dinner, as is often done with sales teams. Marshall was about two and a half hours east of our Compass office and my home in the Dallas area. My plan was to drive that afternoon to Marshall, make my 10-minute presentation explaining the Compass service as part of the overall one-hour open enrollment meeting, and drive home that evening after the event was done. Rather than being at the company headquarters, they decided to have the meeting where they were going to have dinner, a local quote-unquote lodge. As one would imagine, it was a wooden structure with wood paneling on the walls, wood floors, and exposed wood beams on the ceiling. There were various stuffed deer and wild hog heads on the walls for decoration. The meeting room had about 15 folding tables arranged in a U-shape with metal folding chairs behind them facing the front. American and Texas flags stood on top of wooden flagpoles in brass stands on either side of the front. It looked exactly like one would think an East Texas lodge would look like. The sales staff of about was about 30 men and one woman, all middle-aged or older. They were dressed casually in jeans, golf shirts, and the occasional flannel. About half the men had sausage mustaches and glasses with 1980s-style wire rims. They were laughing and joking around with each other while seated in the folding chairs prior to the start of the meeting. The company head of HR, Warren, was about 6 foot 4, 280 pounds, with greased back gray hair. With his booming voice, he got the sales team's attention and started the meeting. Hey, everybody, listen up. The mood in the room immediately changed. The smiles were gone from the sales team. They stared at Warren, myself, and the company's insurance broker and two other insurance company representatives as if we were the mean middle school teacher announcing a pop quiz in class. It was a mix of, you gotta be kidding me, and here we go again. Little did I know that the annual ritual at many company open enrollment meetings involved HR telling the employees that their health insurance deductible was going up and the amount of money coming out of their paycheck was going up. Why? HR would typically say because the cost of health care keeps going up and their company had had a bad year of claims. Wash, rinse, repeat, year after year. The sales team knew the routine. How much was the company going to screw us this year, they thought. I stood to the side by the Texas state flag. 
I listened to the first speaker, the insurance broker. It was not going well with the crowd. Warren introduced the second speaker, an insurance company rep representative. Again, not good. Now I'm up. I began my talk. Raise your hand if you've ever received a bill from a doctor or hospital. Every hand in the room goes up. I wanted audience participation to make sure people were awake. At this point in open enrollment meetings, most people are on their cell phones, tuned out, and ready to get out of there. Of course you have. Silly question. Well, many of those bills are probably wrong, I continued. I briefly told them about my background as a hospital finance consultant and physician. I explained that Compass was their personal health care concierge. Compass would, one, review and resolve their problem medical bills. Two, find doctors that met their specific needs regarding location, availability, and clinical expertise. Three, compare prices in advance across doctors and hospitals. Four, help find more affordable medication options and work with their doctor to switch prescriptions. Five, give them price and quality information about specific doctors and hospitals prior to service, six schedule appointments, seven, explain how their health insurance works, and eight, walk them through their plan choices for open enrollment so they could pick the plan that was right for them. Compass was not only for their health insurance, but also for their dental and vision insurance as well. Compass was not only for them as employees, but for their family members as well. They had been assigned a dedicated Compass, quote, health pro, end quote. They would receive that health pro's name, email address, and phone number with direct extensions so they could keep working with the same person throughout the year. Compass did not make medical decisions or play doctor. Compass was their concierge for administrative complexities of healthcare so that they and their families could focus on getting better and not paperwork. I gave some examples of how employees at other companies used the service. I finished. There was silence. They were all staring at me. A man at the top of the top right of the horseshoe of the tables said in a loud, confident voice, This is awesome! He began to clap. Everyone in the room immediately followed. There was spontaneous applause at an open enrollment meeting. I was shocked. I looked at Warren. He was shocked. I looked at the insurance broker. A smile of delight was on his face. He had recommended to Warren that he hire Compass because he wanted it to have the same effect on the employees, and it did. The applause died down. The man who started the clapping continued, in New Jersey, we have the hardest time with this crap. My wife is the one who has to deal with this, and she is constantly complaining to me about it. We have two teenagers, their stuff, my wife's stuff, my stuff, it's the worst. Other salespeople followed with the same types of comments. Salespeople love to talk. The anecdotes started flying. They probably went on for 15 minutes straight. I didn't say a word. Then the man from New Jersey raised his hand to get everyone's attention. I called on him. How much does this cost? He knew nothing was free. Warren answered for me. It's free for you. The company is paying for it. The man from New Jersey replied, Seriously? Seriously, Warren answered. The man from New Jersey clapped again. Everyone in the room immediately followed again. The mood in the room had changed. There were a few more questions for me, which I answered. I passed the floor back to Warren to introduce the next speaker. The positivity of the last 25 minutes had even carried over into the insurance representative's talk. They looked awake and interested to hear about voluntary benefits for accidents, critical illness, and cancer. The meeting ended. Warren vigorously shook my hand. This better work, he told me. The insurance broker shook my hand. The man from New Jersey came up. He shook my hand and told me a couple of quick stories about the trouble his family had been having with the bills and doctors. He abruptly concluded with, thanks, doc. Now I'm going to go eat a steak. He walked off to the dining room. Compass was on to something. The fancy business term for it is product market fit. We were starting to see it at Compass. Then it took off to the tune of 2,000 employer clients. Fast forward. I personally presented at over 200 open enrollment meetings over the next several years. I did one just off an ocean dock from a salmon fishing fleet in Seattle. I did another in a warehouse of an auto glass company in Fort Worth. There was literally a forklift drawing by as I spoke. I presented at a scrap metal dump that had a junkyard dog, just like you would see in the movies. I presented to teachers, lawyers, investment bankers, helicopter mechanics, even hospital employees themselves. 
We hired more people at Compass to roll out the program. We created an entire implementation and account management department. Talking face-to-face -face with Americans of all walks of life about their medical bills, doctors, and prescription costs has been one of the most rewarding experiences of my professional life. Meeting with HR leaders, CFOs, and CEOs about their employees, their health plans, and the realities of their operations gave me a front row seat to business in America. American businesses are awesome, especially small and medium-sized businesses. They are filled with amazing people who quietly and tirelessly make this country work. It has been a privilege to see their world. Lesson learned. Frequently, healthcare financial problems can be solved with healthcare system navigation. People want it. People need it. The problems are nuanced and particular to the individual, but can be overcome with the help of a healthcare administrative expert. Healthcare navigation does not lend itself to a scalable software only solution. Healthcare is highly services oriented. I'm not sure it can be systematically solved in a generalized way. It has to be personalized.